A local tennis player filed a lawsuit against the United States Tennis Association this week, alleging she was sexually harassed and assaulted while training at a USTA facility in Florida. Much like the suit against USA Gymnastics, this lawsuit looks to hold tennis's governing body responsible for protecting its players. Cronkite News reporter Brianna Isbell has the story. Valley native Kylie McKenzie was once known as one of America's most promising junior tennis players. This week, accompanied by her lawyer and victim advocate, she took legal action against the organization that recruited her and the person she once considered a role model and guardian. Kylie was the subject of sexual innuendo and misconduct almost from the day she started training with the USTA. I was born, raised, and continued to train in the Phoenix area. I started playing tennis when I was just four years old and immediately fell in love with the game. When I was 12 years old, the United States Tennis Association recruited me to train full-time at their state-of-the-art training center in California. Mackenzie moved to the USTA facility in Florida and it was there. She claims USTA coach Annabel Aranda harassed and assaulted her. Mackenzie's lawyer says the coach had a history of sexual assault with at least one other woman but says this information was concealed from McKenzie and her family, making the USTA culpable. After weeks of harassment and with the confidence that Kylie had been fully groomed, Aranda pounced by violating the most private part of Kylie's body. I spent most of my time alone in my room just wanting to sleep. I experienced panic attacks at the USTA center when trying to practice. And I had one so severe that a doctor had to be called to the center who then prescribed me Xanax in the training room. While navigating the civil suit filed against the United States Tennis Association, Kylie says she's trying her best to stay strong during this time and focus on training and re-strengthening her mental health. I continue to fully focus on a comeback to the pro tour. I know that I am still capable of playing at a very high level and have the same promise I did as a young teen. In his testimony during an investigation ordered by the USTA, Aranda denied ever touching McKenzie inappropriately. The USTA has since suspended and fired the former tennis coach and is yet to comment on this lawsuit. In Tempe, Brianna Isbell, Cronkite News.